Nutritionists have a wealth of knowledge, keeping us safe, studying the food we eat, and figuring out how it affects us. We decided to tap into that knowledge to see what happens when one goes shopping in a supermarket. Hi, I'm Amy Keating, a registered dietitian and nutritionist at Consumer Reports, where I evaluate products and provide nutrition advice. Come with me and I'll show you how to shop like a nutritionist. First thing, I bring a list. It keeps me in check and I don't buy anything on impulse. Try new fruits or vegetables and let color be your guide. Different colors provide different beneficial compounds. For instance, dark green leafy vegetables like kale, collard greens, and spinach provide lutein for eye health. Red and orange pigment, lycopene, which is associated with lower cancer risk, particularly prostate cancer. To reduce my exposure to pesticides and help the environment, I buy organic across the board. But when I can't, I put my organic dollars where they'll have the biggest impact on the fruits and vegetables that my family eats a lot of, like red peppers, carrots, and strawberries. A good way to have a variety of fruits and vegetables on hand, buy frozen. It's just as nutritious as fresh, and you'll waste less because it lasts for weeks. Why is it good to buy organic packaged food? Because in addition to how the food is farmed, you'll avoid additives and highly processed ingredients that are allowed in conventional foods. Don't be afraid of eggs. They're nutritious and an inexpensive source of protein, and eating eggs has little impact on your blood cholesterol. And if you care about animal welfare, look for pasture-raised in combination with certified humane or American humane seals. As a nutritionist, I'm always looking for ways to cut out added sodium, preservatives, and sugar. For instance, I'll make my own salad dressing. Take vinegar and an olive oil, mix it together with some Dijon and chopped fresh herbs. It's simple and it tastes fresh. Picking a nutritious bread can be tricky because some of the terms aren't regulated. The healthiest breads will be labeled 100% whole grain or 100% whole wheat. If you see a label like seven grain or 12 grain, be sure to flip over the package and take a look at the ingredient listing to make sure whole wheat or whole grains top the list. If you see enriched wheat flour at the top of the list, that's essentially just white flour. I steer clear of the beverage aisle because soda, as well as iced tea, lemonade, sports drinks, they all have a lot of added sugars that my family just doesn't need. So maybe for a special occasion, but I try not to bring it home. Even nutritionists like to snack, and I go for popcorn. It's a whole grain, and it's really healthy. The problem is when it's covered in lots of cheese, sugar, or loads of salt. So pick a popcorn with just a hint of salt. I shop for a lot of different protein sources for my family, seafood and plant-based alternatives like nuts, seeds, and a lot of beans. So I'm not at the meat counter that often, but when I am, to avoid saturated fat, I choose lean meat, 90% ground beef, cuts of meat like sirloin and top round, and chicken. Look for raised without antibiotics or the USDA organic label. Thanks for shopping with me today. I hope you learned that a few simple changes in what you bring home from the store can have a huge impact on your family's diet. And that's how you shop like a nutritionist.